Hi, this is Kavita Suresh Kumar and in this video I am going to demonstrate how we can do collaborative development using branches and the pull request in AWS code commit. I have logged into the AWS management console. Now let's directly go to the code commit. You can see already we have a repository. So this repository uh, in my previous video, I have shown how to migrate from the Git repository to AWS code commit. Refer that video for further information. So let's check the content of this particular repository. So now you can we can go and see the, here you can see there is only one branch available. Right. So that is the main default branch. You can confirm this by going to the branches. You can see that there is only one main branch available. And you can check the commits. You can see there are three commits and all the commits are in the main branch because till now we have not seen the concept of branches, right? Even the commit visualize it shows the same thing, right? But in an actual scenario, generally multiple developers work on a repository. So if we give them access, if you give everyone access to push the changes directly to the main branch, it is going to cause confusion and conflicts. So that's where the branching concept comes into picture. So which means the developers, they can create their own feature branch and they can start doing their development, push all the changes to the branch. And when all the development is done, so they can create a pull request and then request for the uh, code developer or senior developers review and then get the changed merge to the master. So let's get started by creating branches. So you can create branch even from the AWS code commit UI, but let me go and create that in through the terminal. So I'm in that particular repository, which has been cloned to my local system. Just let's check how many branches are there. Only one branch is there. I'm going to check out and create a new branch. I'm going to name the branches feature branch. So now switch to the new branch. Or I would make some changes to the readme file. Okay. Let me mention about like when I say scenic pictures, it is related to water, snow and things like that. Scenic pictures. So I'm go just going to say snow. So I'm going to save this changes now. So let me check do a git status. So it says there are unstaged changes, right? So if I have to stage it, then I need to do a git add. So now again, git status. So there is one file modified, which is ready for commit. So let me commit that git commit. Same readme updated. So now the changes have been committed. So let me push. So here you won't be able to directly push because we are not pushing to the mainstream, right? So you need to use this command to push the changes to the feature branch. So now the changes has been successfully pushed to the feature branch. Let's review that. So now we are in the main branch. Let's go and see are whether are we seeing the changes. No, still it doesn't have any information on the update we made just now. So let's check. So we have another branch. And in that branch, we can see that the changes what we updated recently. So now we wanted to and we can go and see the commits. So we can see only the three commits in the main branch. But if I go to feature, I can see the previous three commits as well as the new commit. So the commit visualizer has the information about the four commits when we select the feature branch. So now let's compare the commits. 
so the destination is now we wanted to merge our changes to the main branch but currently our changes are in the feature branch so let's do a compare so we can see the difference in the main branch we don't have that snow in data and here we have added snow okay but if you wanted to actually merge the changes you need to create a pull request so create a pull request compare so we need to give a title for this so here it says mergeable there is no conflicts and what are the changes right so you can give a title to that give me data and then click create pull request so it clearly says it's open no approval rules no merge conflicts right so if you wanted to perform any kind of an activity right when the reviewer if they wanted to review and then they wanted to give some uh, review commands ask them to make changes all these things can be commands can be added on these changes and you can see the commit related to this change and when we have defined any approval rules uh, so the approver has to provide the approval before merging so since we have not defined anything so we are just going to click merge so there are three different types of merges so we are just going to go with the fast forward merge and then click merge pull request okay so the changes have been merged so now we can see there is only one branch because when we were merging the pull request there was an option whether you wanted to delete the branch so that option was selected by default and we didn't change it so the branch request got deleted so now we can check the readme in the main branch so it has the content because the content from the feature branch has been merged to this in this demo we have seen how by creating branches and pull request the developers can do the collaborative development thanks for watching the demo